Okay, so after 50 million takes, I think I finally have the recordings right this time. And welcome back, not welcome back, uh, welcome to, because this is an entirely new playthrough for you guys. I decided to come back with a bang and bring you guys a nice little Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, a fragmentary passage gameplay. As, nah, it's more as a, as a gift for both of us, because I've been super excited for this game. And I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for my return per se and it's awesome to be back i'm glad that i can finally go back to making videos for you guys but there's a couple few things that i want to talk about first of all while i was gone we finally hit 200 subscribers thank you guys so much for that it's awesome to know that it's it may not seem like a whole lot but just the fact that you guys watch my content and that i generally make others happy by just doing what i love it's it's an awesome feeling and i hope that we can grow even more i hope that i can continue making content for you guys and maybe one day in the future be able to do this as a full-time thing for you guys it's 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 cool it's awesome i already said that but it's it's the only thing i can really think of and i just want to thank you guys so much for supporting me and enjoying my content being here for my channel because i wouldn't be anywhere or i wouldn't be anything without you guys you guys are you know you guys are basically the blood to my channel I'm just the brain, you guys are are the blood. You guys control everything. So thanks for that. And hopefully, you know, we can hit an even larger milestone this year. Maybe 500, maybe 1,000. If we hit 1,000, I'll make sure to do something special for you guys. I'll make sure to give back to you guys as thanks. If we can hit that, uh, if we can hit that milestone this year, that would be real peachy keen. Also, to give you guys a quick explanation as to why we've been gone, instead of making an update video, I'll just, you know, throw it all into the beginning of this video. Uh, I work for Amazon, if you guys didn't know already. And with Amazon during the holiday season, you have to work peak, because being such a big company like them, they get a lot of orders and a lot of shipments in. I work in the warehouse, so that meant that I had to pick a lot of orders, and that had me, or required me to work five to six days a week for about six weeks. And that just left me with no energy. I didn't have... I was dead tired. On my one day, two days off, I'd just be completely dead. Didn't want to do anything. So, up until around Christmas time that was going on. Then I was in a car accident right before that e those events happened. So I didn't have time to schedule uploads bef like you know while I was gone. And then after that, of course, was when uh, you know I just needed time to get myself together and build... Uh, not so much my confidence, but just build the energy back up and want to make videos. That way, when I did come around the time that I wanted to start recording again, I would, you know, put all my heart and soul into it. That way, we, I would make content that you guys would enjoy and that I would enjoy making. Because the last thing I want is to make something that I don't enjoy and then you guys not enjoy it as well because I'm boring as shit or just suck at the commentary, which is no fun. But anyways, enough talking. Let's finally get into this game. Uh, I just want to let you guys know I was super hyped for this. Uh, not, I'm, I'm a Kingdom Hearts fanboy. Kingdom Hearts fuckboy. I loved the series ever since it came out back in, what, 2001? I was five years old and I got the game by mistake and I loved it ever since. Anyways, enough about that and my past. Let's go ahead and jump right into this, shall we? And for those of you who don't know and who aren't caught up to the game, uh, this story-wise, this takes place after Birth by Sleep, I believe, as uh, as Aqua's been wandering. What is it? The realm of darkness, right? I think. Not too sure. Don't hold that against me. So these are the controls. These seem pretty basic. Toggle, lock on, switch, targets. Oh, that's actually new. Normally used to switch targets you had to hold r1 and then flick you know left or right on the thumbstick uh reset camera change camera view okay i don't know what i need to change the camera view for uh toggle shortcuts nice okay um perform situation command cancel jump let go okay x is to confirm squares to block damage all right so these all seem pretty basic Except I'm wondering if it's gonna use the command, uh, the command, uh, what's it looking for? I guess the HUD in the bottom left. I'm wondering if they're gonna use the command HUD from Birth by Sleep and uh, Dream Drop Distance, or if it's gonna use the one from like Kingdom Hearts Two and Kingdom Hearts One. I guess we'll find out though, huh?
The great battle with Xehanort is almost upon us. As you know, we must take action to keep the Seven Pure Lights safe. And thus, we must hasten to assemble the Seven Guardians of Light. It is time to return to our world the three Keyblade wielders we lost over a decade ago. Ventus, Terra, and Aqua must be saved from their sad end, for they have more to achieve. Following their first battle with Xehanort, Ventus's heart refused to awaken, and so Aqua found a safe location to conceal him. But when she set off in search of her other missing friend, Terra, she fell to a place from which there is no return without outside help. I saw her in the realm of darkness. Okay, so I think we're going to see the intro again. I mean, this is my second time seeing the intro. I actually, you guys have probably all seen the intro, but they showed it before I got to the main menu. It's, it's, it's the same thing that you saw in the trailer. But there was something I wanted to point out real fast was that it was interesting seeing the Master's Apprentice out watching Kingdom Hearts open up. That, that was really interesting because I thought that was Xehanort's Keyblade, which I think was handed down to him from that Master's Apprentice. I, I don't know. It's all complicated. God, like I've seen that intro so many times already and it gives me chills every single time. It's so good. Uh, and the game just looks so good already. Like Unreal 4 Engine at its finest right there. Let's see how good the in-game graphics look though. And I'm hoping that they finally fix the issue or cutscenes. Uh, the the mouse and just like the faces would just always look stupid in like the in-game cutscenes. So hopefully with this new engine they fix that. Fingers crossed. Could it be? Mm. 
If I remember correct, <laughs> if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure that's Castle Oblivion. Maybe. I don't. Fuck. I can't. I can't remember. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll learn the basic controls. Even though I'm pretty sure I already know what they are. Oh, so, it's so smooth. I am not used to Kingdom Hearts being smooth. And, okay, as I thought, it's using, like, the Kingdom Hearts 2 and... Wow. Does she just come just fully stacked out with her... I think she does. Just fully stacked out with abilities. That's pretty cool. Okay, how long am I going to have to reset the... Is, oh, is, do I just continue on? I wonder if there's anything back here. Let's check. You never know what goodies you might find. And apparently there's no goodies. I guess we'll press on then. Can I open up a menu already? You sure can. Check out the story so far. Alright. So this basically gives us a quick little recap of what happened in uh, Birth by Sleep, which, fun fact, I actually didn't finish it completely. I finished Ventus's story, and back during that time, I actually had Gamefly, so I didn't purchase the game. I rent, I just, you know, rented it from Gamefly, and then my, before I could finish the game, my trial expired, and that was that, so I, I never got to finish Aqua's or Terra's story, which kind of left me a little bit in the dark I mean I've watched videos and read up on the wiki and stuff like that about what happened but there's a totally different it's totally different from experiencing it yourself you know Okay, so apparently I was really far off from my original guess. I thought that was Castle Oblivion and it's Cinderella's world. That's fine. Counter attack can be used immediately after blocking enemy attacks. Nice. Like it's it's smooth, but it's also weird on my eyes. Because I'm not used to 60 FPS Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, that's so convenient. You know, it's not convenient though. Not having any of Aqua's magic. No bueno. Oh, okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine too. There's no time in the realm of darkness. I walk on and on without end. In the realm of light, do days or years pass with each step? I know. Something has started to go wrong. Ooh. I must hurry. Yep. Dude, Aqua is such fucking bay material. Look at her. I finally appreciate her for what she truly is. Beauty and independence. Sometimes a dead end isn't so dead. Try exploring every corner of the map. Oh, okay, that's fine. She just she just does it. Don't even have to press anything. That's cool. 
approach the treasure chest, fulfill other specific conditions, and the situation commander will appear. Okay, fantastic. Evolver. It looks like worse things are starting. Ah, seamless transitioning. Okay, that works. If I remember correctly, I think in Birth by Sleep. Aqua, Aqua, I think had the second best dodge ability in comparison to the three of them. I think Ventus's was the top one, but Aqua's was pretty on par. Except I think hers was just a little bit shorter. I do remember Terra's though just being absolutely garbage. Uh, I don't need help, but. If I don't get rid of those, those are really gonna bother me. So, bye bye. And that's that's what got me. I was wondering if they're gonna have the the area transitions. They still got them. Not even the poor could escape the wrath. I took it for granted. I thought I had nothing in life. Here too, everyone in this world thought that they were safe. Not just the people, but the dog waiting for his owner. The cat curled up in her nook. So much life. Trees and flowers. There's no deeper sadness than discovering all that you knew was gone. Well, let me stop you right there. I see that bush the there. In this place is too much to fathom. That's enough. I can't keep on wishing for the past. Objectives, huh? That's new. Fill special conditions to complete objectives, and you will be rewarded with clothing and accessories for all. Okay, I'm sold. I'll go ahead and do whatever you need me to, baby. Equip Aqua with these items from wardrobe in the main menu. Dress up Aqua in your own unique style. Now, this is perfect. Alright. I can already change a. That's pretty nifty. But, do I want to go all white? I'll go default. Uh, defeat the shadows. Raise Aqua to levels. Wait, what? Are, oh, cat ears, huh? I'm I'm into it. I'm in it. Raise Aqua to level sixty. Defeat five heartless using counter blast. I can probably do that. Probably. Uh, hit twenty street lamps. 
climb to the highest point. Interesting. Watch for a meteor shower. All right, now, now they're getting a little bit tedious. 51 customizable items, though. That's not bad. Let's cross our fingers and hope that they decide to implement... Okay, so that's hitting a street lamp. Can you just destroy everything? Perfect. What? What do you mean I can't go back? I need to hit those street lamps. Ugh. How much do I need to hit? 20? That's how many? 1, 2, 3, 4. 5. 6. 7. 8. I don't even know what I'm collecting. Are these like MP points that I'm collecting here? And I can't even use them at the moment. So whatever. Okay, I guess that's fine. I knew it. Uh, select magic followed by the spell you wish to cast. Casting spells depletes your MP gauge. You cannot cast spells without magic. MP charge! This action restores your MP gauge after a certain amount of time. MP charges when you run MP. MP charges activated. Spells cannot be cast during this time. During the pink, what's the pink gate? Okay, got it, got it, got it. Usual stuff. I get it. Ooh. 